Monica, where are you? She's not here. Where is she? I don't know, but judging from the look on your face, she's safer there than here. It's very amusing. I need to talk to you. Later. No, now. It's about Mother. Here. It's about Mother? What is it? What's wrong? Helen, I'm worried I heard her talking to herself in Daddy's room. Well, I wouldn't worry about that, Tracy. I mean, she's suffering from grief. Well, does she usually smoke cigars when she's suffering from grief? Smokes? That's ridiculous. I smelled smoke coming out of the room. Tracy, your sense of smell has obviously become totally dysfunctional. My mother does not smoke cigars. Okay, what about the martinis? Martinis? Jennings went up to her room with not one, but two shakers of martinis. What are you telling me, that my mother's become a closet drunk? Well, how would you explain it? What? That's Monica. Ah, Judge Seaton. Well, that explains it. You see, Mother's expecting company. No, no, Ellen. I was just passing by and thought I'd drop in to see how she's doing. Yes, well, I'm sure that my mother will welcome you, Bridget. Uh, well, Judge, why don't I take you upstairs? I'm going to wait here for Monica. She certainly is popular today. What do you mean, popular? Well, Ashton's back, and he was very anxious to see Monica. Very anxious. I seem to have arrived a little late. No, the scavengers left you a little bit. Oh, they must have been doing something up there. I'm sure Sean will let you borrow the tape. Uh, a little warm, but nonetheless drinkable. Oh, thank you, Commissioner. Listen, I don't mean to ruin your mood, but um, you heard anything more about the Chinese delegation? You mean the ship that went down with the delegation? Uh, the Dragon Bone, yes. Any idea what happened? Well, I'm still waiting for the uh, port the maritime authorities. Mm. However, I... Uh, Guess who's coming to dinner? Oh, I seem to have stumbled on a little den of thieves. Ah, oh, dear brother, what brings you on the wings of night? You, you charlatan, you stole everything from me. Excuse me, Larry, I believe this is what is commonly referred to as a private party. They're all blackguards and frauds. Come on, Father, this is a party. A party? My life's a bloody shambles and I'm stripped to the bone. You're no better than the rest of them. Consorting with the enemy, my own flesh and blood. I think you'd better leave. Oh, is this a challenge, Charlie, with no foil to back it up? Hey, 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 gentlemen, this is a party. What's going on? Oh, a little bending of the spleen. Oh, if it's not my master boatwright, Mr. Shaw, another Judas. Father, well, I think you've said enough. I haven't even begun to say anything. You know, I like this fellow. <laughs> He seems to be getting on with his life in a positive way. Which is more than I can say for the rest of you bunch of thieves and my wife, Ariel, who just about ruined mine. Ashton, I think maybe you might want to find another party to crash, okay? Oh, how genteel, Mr. Shaw. Be warned. I know Ariel very well. She can still find the time to ruin your life. There's more hand in the kitchen if you... I did it so shabby, but wouldn't you know, on the way over here, I had to butt some guy, and besides running my stockings, he sat on your present. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, because it won't break. It's, it's a lingerie. Lingerie. Oh! <laughs> I wish Bobby were here. Yeah. She's missing all the fun. You know what? I don't think she's going to make it. She was still in the way. This is really nice. Well, that's one of the sacrifices of the week for real women. However, I would trade it all in if Mr. Wright came along. Oh, yeah, right. Would you? <laughs> Would you? Just like, no. Oh, you're going to get that? No. Where'd she get It's probably more lingerie. Maybe, though. Yeah, let's hope it is. Oh, yeah. Which one Hello, Anna. It's very nice to see you. Um, I hope I'm not too late. We're together tonight. You know, we're sleeping here. Really? Thank you. Well, I really didn't want to miss it. Leave it to Lucy to show up where she's not wanted. Uh, well, hello, everybody. Um, Felicia, this is for the bride. Thank you. You're welcome. I thought you were going to be out of town. Well, I was, Aunt Charlene, but I certainly wasn't going to miss Felicia's wedding shower. And, oh, it's just a little something to wear in your more private moments. Oh, 
is very nice. Thank you. It's oh. completely unexpected. Well, Felicia, after all, you are marrying my cousin, so that's going to make us relatives. I think it's very exciting, don't you? Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And Charlene? Catherine, hello. It's so good to see you again. Yeah. How are you? I'm wonderful. You know, I've been meaning to call you. I wanted to tell you that we've been getting the most fabulous royalty checks still for the daycare center from that dazzling concert you gave. Didn't you think it was just a dazzling affair? It was dazzling. Yeah, yes, I thought so. You know what? I, I, this was a great party until you know what showed up. I, she can kill a good time faster than a train wreck. No, excuse me. I'm going to the kitchen. You know, I the camera out of my face. Hey, would you give... Does that have a microphone on it? Would you? Oh, no. It's that... I've been waiting for you. Is that a statement of fact or a declaration of war? I heard what you did to Lucy. Oh, Alan, I really don't want to talk about it. Thank you very much. How dare you intimidate that poor innocent girl. Innocent? Oh, that cheap little bed warmer innocent? You have absolutely no right whatsoever to embarrass her. I had every right, Alan. I'm your wife. You're my what? That's a legal term, Monica. You don't behave like my wife. And you, of course, are the model husband cavorting around hotel rooms with the little Miss Goody Two Shoes. What are you doing, feeding her all sorts of accusations about Ned and me? Monica, I wouldn't humiliate myself by admitting that my wife's having an affair with somebody else. Now, exactly what did Lucy say? Nothing, Alan. Never mind, it doesn't matter. It does matter. Lucy is my friend. Oh, obviously, you're paying her bills. I am simply trying to get her through an emotional crisis, that's all. Oh, a crisis. Well, what would that be? Will she put out or won't she? You reduce everything to the gutter, don't you? Tell me something. In those moments of passion, when you're whispering things into her ear, what do you say? Secrets about me? Monica, if I was having moments of passion with Lucy, which I'm not. I wouldn't waste my time talking about you. So what are you trying to do, Alan? Just get back at me? For what? I don't know. You seem to have an assortment of, of complaints. Why don't you pick one? Fine. How about opening my mail? How about encroaching on my privacy? How about you putting me on the defensive when you're the one that's having an affair? I am not! I don't care anymore. I'm so disgusted with you. It just doesn't matter. Will that be all, Mrs. Quartermain? Yes, thank you, Jennings. Oh, it was so nice of you to drop by, Floyd. I always enjoy your company, Lila. <laughs> oh, how very sweet of you. You're a pig's eye. It's too bad we don't see more of each other. Yes, I know. It is, isn't it? I don't seem to see nearly enough of my old friends these days. We'll have to do something about that. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Move in? Hush up. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Oh, no, no offense at all, Floyd. I, oh, please forgive me. I, I, I don't know what made me say that. I do, and I'm not going to hush up. Well, Lila, since I am one of your fondest admirers, I thought you might like to accompany me to the country club garden party this year. What a marvelous idea. Well, what's so marvelous about it? I'd rather go to a dog fight. Oh, you know you never enjoyed those social affairs. How's that? Um, well, uh, what I meant to say was, Edward was never very fond of those country club events. I hated every one you dragged me to. I seem to have touched a tender memory. Yes, my dear, sweet Edward. Every year, uh, I remember seeing the two of you together at the garden party. Well, somebody had to be there to protect her from you, you... Oily, womanizing Romeo. I am perfectly capable of taking care of myself, thank you. <laughs> no question about that, Lila. You're a feisty one, that's for sure. And so am I. Oh, oh no, how could you? How could you? Yeah. Well, sorry, Lila. Clumsy of me. Poor, poor man. Oh, thank you. And there's nothing in just a spot. Next time I'll make it a bowl of gravy. I guess I better run along. Oh, must you? Oh, must you? I don't want to overstay my welcome. I'll call you about the garden party. Oh, please do, Floyd. Goodbye, Lila. Goodbye. I'll send Jennings up to clean up the mess. Oh, thank you. You 
are going to drive me to drink. Yeah. We'll need another pitcher of martinis for that. <laughs> 